Hey there, Hilltop Church family. Pastor Ben here with another devotional for you. And I uh, just want to thank you, first of all, for how well you've been taking care of um, our community at Northville Civic Concern with all the food you've been bringing in. Uh, before that, the protein bars for our health care workers. Um, and then, you know, people like Connie Bradshaw, who just tragically lost her husband to COVID-19 on Saturday. And uh, to call her and find that her Sunday school class had so quickly come together to organize meals for her and her daughter. Uh, it just really has blessed me time and again to see your faithfulness to love God and love people. And you're representing um, this church very well to our community right now. And I know people are, are so appreciative to see the love of God in action in a time where it's easy to lose heart and lose hope. So thank you so much for your faithfulness in this time. That being said, I, I want to speak to you about something I've been wrestling with, and I, this devotional really doesn't have um, any easy answers as much as hopefully good food for thought that you too can wrestle with as I've been wrestling with it. It's from uh, the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 23 and 24. I'm just going to read it real quickly out of the New King James Version. He says, All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful or beneficial. All things are lawful for me, but not all things edify. Let no one seek his own good, but let each one of you seek the other's well-being. So here the context is um, when you go to the meat market in this time in Corinth, uh, there was a good chance you were going to buy meat from an animal that had been sacrificed to false gods in uh, temple worship. And and so there was a debate going on within the church as to whether or not you should even go to the market and buy meat in light of the fact that you could be upsetting Jesus Christ. Uh, and what Paul is saying here is, listen, as a Christian, as long as you're thankful, you understand there's only one true God, uh, don't even ask whether this animal has been sacrificed in the temple or not to false gods. Just buy the meat and thank God for it and enjoy it. And I just love that attitude of the Apostle Paul. Isn't this a great devotional you tuned in to, for today? Um, but he says then, uh, there's some Christians that aren't going to have a clear conscience about this. And if you go sit down at a meal with somebody and the issue comes up, uh, whether or not this meat has come from a temple worship, uh, you should give up your right to eat that meat out of love for that brethren or that sister who has that conviction. Uh, that you, there's instances where love requires us to give up um, our perspective and our rights for the good and edification of others. And um, that being said, I've been trying to apply this to myself in light of this COVID-19 quarantine. Um, it's been said by Benjamin Franklin, there's two certainties in life, death and taxes. And, and I'm finding there's actually another certainty in life, and that is that whatever the problem is in life, whatever um, multiple people are looking at, there's going to always be multiple different opinions and perspectives and convictions. And it can be very challenging to us and to our hearts when we're looking at a circumstance and we're so certain of what the right way is, the right answer is, we have a deep conviction about it, to still show love to the one who's looking at the same circumstances, the same problem, and coming to different conclusions than our own. And I think this is such a fitting scripture for today because there's something that runs a greater risk than COVID-19 right now, and that is that we would allow our hearts to grow bitter and cynical and self-righteous towards those who see things differently than we do. And in an age of social media, and in an age where uh, we can access information so easily through Google searches, it's easy for all of us uh, to get into a self-righteous posture towards those who think differently than us. And, and I want to ask you, how are you doing at keeping your relationships um, healthy at cost to being right? Are you able to hold your opinion back for the good of a relationship? 
are you able to allow somebody to disagree with you in an agreeable way? Or are you someone who is, if you're honest, very, um, put yourself in a superior position a lot, always has to have the last word, is very combative. Um, when somebody disagrees, they would, they would say you take a tone that's very negative, um, or you just distance yourself and separate yourself from them altogether. The greatest risk of COVID-19 is not death in and of itself as Christians, because Jesus Christ has conquered death and we have eternal life. The, the greatest risk is that we would allow circumstances like these to harden our hearts towards God and others in a way that we would miss out on God's eternity. That's the greatest risk. And so you got to ask yourself right now, as hard as this is, as inconvenient as this is, as frustrating as this is, as, as tempting as it is to grow irritable and impatient, let's take a deep breath and examine ourselves and ask ourselves, what is this situation showing me about where my heart is at in terms of its being rooted and grounded in the love of God? Am I, has this situation revealed something within me that when people see things differently, when people come to different conclusions than I do, I feel tasked to put them in their place. I often put myself in a superior position to demean them. Or I, like the Apostle Paul, say, you know what? I'm going to give up my rights for the sake of the relationship. I'm going to do my best by God's grace to speak the truth in love and ask God to help me to be silent when what I have to say is not going to help. It's only going to do harm. Because there's a greater issue at stake than being right about the economy and COVID-19, and that is to be right with God and to be pleasing in His sight. I have very strong opinions of how we need to move forward right now. And if you want those opinions, feel free to ask me. I'd be happy to tell you. But I never want to give those opinions in a way that would make somebody that sees it differently than I do feel as though they're an idiot, feel demeaned, feel dehumanized, feel as though they can't be in relationship with me because uh, to see it differently or have a different conviction means that I'm better than them and I don't want anything to do with them. Uh, these are hard issues. It's, it's a lot easier said than done. And I want you to search your heart and I, I want to search my own heart and wrestle with God to help us have wisdom in these days to speak the truth in love or uh, even though we have this right to speak the truth as we see it, maybe not speak it at all, but just let others vent and just try to be affirming and offer to pray with them and encourage them and especially be careful with social media. I know I'm struggling with it. I'm sure you're struggling with it. Let's ask God to help these verses be true of our own lives. All things are lawful for me, not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, not all things edify. Let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being. To the glory of God, may we all be seeking the other's well-being in these days. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And Lord, help us in this time to keep our hearts in love. And Lord Jesus, help us to have wisdom in each situation to speak in a way that edifies and encourages and builds up. In Jesus' name, amen.